And so as we move forward today with this really leading edge cadre of physical and non-physical consciousness, it is our absolute knowing that you're going to find some insights that you've been looking for and things that you've already known in fact you've known them a long time will come to the forefront and you will feel such confidence in what you already know you are doing so well this is an exercise in fine-tuning there is nothing about saving anybody that's going on here today there's nothing broken in you that we are here to fix there is only angst in you that we are here to soothe there's only wobble in you that is not necessary there's only contradiction in your energy that does not serve you and so that's what we are here about to help you be more of who you are and that is an exercise in continuing attention because who you are is a continuing and fast moving evolving being and keeping up with what life is causing you to become is really what you are all about you live in the fastest moving energy that has ever been in the most contrast that has ever existed and those two things go exactly together the reason that your evolution is so fast that your expansion is so fast and therefore your possible joyous experience is so certain is because of the diversity that gives you pause to focus and as you do it with so many others and collectively you are creating so much that you are really wanting to move into you've created through your attention and therefore through your emission of vibration a vibrational reality that is the premise of all things to come that future generations will come into already knowing and experiencing it's just you who are here with the old world and from your basis in the old world you are creating the new world it's only you that have one foot in the old world and one foot in the new world who are having any struggle new ones being born in don't have any struggle they're born in to the vibration of what is now it's interesting they come in through their mother's womb splat here they are in physical experience dominantly non-physical energy and then oddly from our perspective you who've been here before take these fresh little new ones who are pure positive energy who are the vibrational equivalency of your vibrational reality that vibrational reality that we call the vortex we want you to accept its realness they are born in understanding all of that but humans so often think it's important to give them really clear understanding of how things are in terms of already manifested or more important you think how things have been that caused things to be how they are well we agree with you partly because how things have been and what you've lived and what you've launched vibrationally is why things are in this vibrational reality but those new ones already feel that and they are moving steadily toward their manifestation of this new reality but you're not so much you don't move steadily toward your new reality because you are so enamored with the reality you've got except you complain about it all the time <laughs> so the reality that you've got keeps you from moving to the reality that you want and that really is what we will be talking about here today how can you release yourself from the habit of thought that's what a belief is a belief is a thought you continue to think a belief or an expectation Esther got on the airplane in San Antonio really early yesterday morning and changed planes in Los Angeles at LAX Airport and everything was wonderful they all got on the second plane and sat there for a while and then there was an announcement everybody get off because the plane is not going to fly because there is weather in San Francisco which Esther and her iPhone knew was not true <laughs> so they got off and now Esther is flying early enough that she knows that 
no matter what the airline decides to do she can get in a car and drive here it's within her ability to do that so she was at ease knowing that she was not going to miss all of you but as she sat there there was a woman really quite animated who was talking with the gate agent with clarity and a loud voice and sadly she reminded Esther of herself because <laughs> she wasn't just going to take at face value what they were saying and as Esther listened to her what she said made sense even though it clashed with Esther's desire she was saying that something most likely some sort of anticipated weather had slowed the San Francisco airport down enough that everyone no longer had a gate or a landing slot and Esther had heard that before it resonated with something that she'd heard before and so as Esther listened to her her reasoning the man at the gate he was a supervisor he listened to her to this woman and sort of gave her a nod and a wink that she was onto something but Esther had done something as she came off the airplane as she came off the airplane she stuck her head and her first foot and her second foot and most of her body inside the cockpit and she said to the pilots if you really needed to be somewhere today would you wait for this plane or would you rent a car and drive it would you 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 and the captain of the ship said I wouldn't drive it I'd wait for this airplane and Esther thought good enough so here's Esther she's had experiences where they have delayed a flight and delayed it 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 and then finally canceled it and she knows that if you wait around long enough then there are no other options except maybe to drive all night so she has this current experience with all kinds of options about the way she thinks and feels and wanting to vibe out some truth from where where do you get your truth so now she's standing at the ticket counter and there's another woman asking the agent there can I fly into Oakland and that woman said all flights to Oakland are full and as Esther was watching her face she knew that wasn't true <laughs> something about the way the woman was pretending to look at the screen <laughs> and so that woman went off she had her carry-on she went off to Alaska Airlines and Esther thought well that's that but I believe in my captain and I'm just gonna sit here now this woman who was animated she's still going on and on and on and on and on about how this plane's not going to fly she's seen it so many times and so Esther decided to put in place a plan B so she arranged for a limo driver to pick her up at baggage claim three hours from now because she figured in three hours she could get her bag off that airplane if she needed to and so now she is sitting there relaxed and in some sense of relief knowing that she was going to get what she wanted even though she could feel that she was banging it out in an unnecessary way so here she is you've been there too her now vibration is clouded by all of the flights that have ever been canceled all of the lies that she thinks she's ever been told all of the trauma that she's ever lived around this subject and current faith in a man that she believed was telling her what he believed to be true although she doesn't know how much he actually knew have you ever lived that that kind of confusion what should I do what should I do what's the right thing for me to do do I just sit here and let the universe have its way with me how much do you trust the universe how much do you trust that the universe has your back how much do you know that things are always working out for you 
how much do you know that there is always a way that there's always a plan how much do you know that you don't need to be the one that figures it out and when you try to be the one that figures it out while it does exercise your reasoning ability often the more you exercise your reasoning ability under the guise of creating your own reality the more you introduce unnecessary resistance into the equation you hearing us so Esther sat there and now she's feeling amused because this has been mr. toad's wild ride she's been all over the place mostly feeling confident that she's all right no matter what but she went here and 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 here because she allowed influences of current reality and a woman who had had a lot of experience 45 years she's been flying she and her husband she knows about all of these kinds of things and she got the gate agent to give her a wink and a nod on the dire thing that she had extrapolated from her past experience and so as Esther is sitting there and listening to all of this she became very amused with herself and she thought wouldn't it be just a really funny thing if that time that they put up there was the time that we all just got on and flew off to San Francisco which it was <laughs> which it was it was a slight delay it was a three hour delay but it wasn't a canceled flight and as Esther is settling into her seat she is saying to herself what has this life experience brought to me what do I now know in a clearer way what do I now know what do I know more clearly than ever before things are always working out for me there is always a path and nothing serious is going on here and what else I introduce unnecessary resistance into my equation was it terrible no was it an exercise yes was it sort of fun truly <laughs> was it interesting it's fascinating was it adventurous yes it was <laughs> do I feel more alive I do I do I do <laughs> did I make friends yes is there something I would have rather been doing with that time no is it what living life is yes sitting in your environment assessing what's going on digesting it just like eating a yummy vibrational meal there isn't anything serious going on no matter what it seems like Esther was thinking well the stakes feel higher to me because I'm not just going to buy art mm. I'm going for something really that feels important to me I can't just not go was that ever an option was that ever really on the table I can't go and yet isn't it sometimes tempting for you to play out the worst case scenario you know why you do that because you want to feel adventure you know why you play out the worst case scenario you want to prove your worthiness you know why you play out the worst case scenario you want to triumph here I come to save the day all of those reasons so our encouragement to you is be playful in your life and have fun with it and let the universe surprise you and delight you in as many ways as you want but never 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 ask the universe to give you exactly what you've planned because if the universe only ever gives you exactly what you've planned from your very narrow point of view you're gonna have a really boring life <laughs> but if you allow the universe to reach out to all of the possibilities knowing who you are and what you want and if you've practiced your knowing that things always work out for you then you can be an active participant that's important in this unfolding drama of the way the universe will stand on its head to give you whatever you want whenever you want it welcome to planet earth welcome to vast contrast and diversity welcome to infinite choices and possibilities welcome to the enlivenment of you welcome to the adventure of being out here on the leading edge right where you want it to be and never ever ask for the mundane expected everything on schedule always just the way you wrote it in your book because that will bore you to death we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs>
there was a lot in there for you what do you want to talk about 